Okay, big moment. The French pair, European champions, are ready and waiting. And so too, Chris Harrop and Simon Reid. Often performing in front of your home fans can be uh, a burden rather than a boost. Van Sant Rostencourt suffered yesterday a little bit over expectant, but these two have calmed themselves and done really well. And that should be good enough, surely, to keep them in first place. The interesting thing will be not just the first place overall but how the judges go eight out of nine had them in first place in the first compulsory well, i thought that was awesome they skated it as well as they possibly could have wished so much strength the quality of skating from these two is getting better and better every year look at the focus and determination fantastic strength with the upper body just letting those skates work and as always, the intense focus between them. Well, technically it was good, and they sold it as well as they do every single section of this competition. The they, alignment. Yeah, really. the alignment holds up well, doesn't it, to this uh, super slow-mo analysis. The alignment, the timing. As always, a lot of hair. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks great, doesn't it? The image is just fantastic. Yeah, it sure does. Now then. On the left, uh, did a companion last night, Pascal Camalengo, who's uh, talking a lot more sense than Chris does. I think most people were. 5-7 from the Polish judge, otherwise 5-8 right the way down the line. They're going to be first, but how many have them first? 8 out of 9. It's looking very good indeed for Marina Anasina and Gwandel Pazara. The World Championship is beckoning for them, it seems. 